Right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Cloud of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh, I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? Hello everyone and welcome to Enchanted Towers. Bit of a weird bit. So this is Enchanted Towers and I feel like I am in familiar territory with this background. I just can't remember exactly what. Kind of reminds me of Spyro 1 actually. Now look at these strange enemies. Enchanted Towers is bloody weird. It is really weird. First things first as well. Um, it's actually recycling the music from the Sergeant Bird base level. So let's have a listen to what this guy has to say. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then, after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask oh, me, God. the statue is much prettier than she is. Damn right, Pablo. Damn. Pr so the Rhinox forced Pablo and the other guys. Uh, what are they in? Wait. My it's, friend Jasper. Uh, my friend Jasper has a plan to blow the statue to Kingdom Come, but we we'll have to clear. Look, more dialogue. Don't you love that? Wait, so what is it? What is, wait, oh, wait, I forgot what. Who are they? What the hell are they? Okay, so now here we are introduced to the spitting thing, and that actually, you're actually meant to kill these enemies with the spit thing. Um, and you know what? In fact, let's just do that. Let's actually do that. That'd be kind of fun. Now, ready? Watch this. I bet you we'll hit him just. Yes. Suck that. All right. Now, this is a very unique level because of the actual fact that you are able. Um, Look at that, it's cool too. Yeah, you're able to beat this level um, through, like, actually exploring the level with, with another character. So this is like a, a, basically an, a, a section where you can beat the level while playing as Sergeant Bird, because Sergeant Bird's uh, level is actually in the same area, except you can access different bits and stuff like that, as you would expect. Now. Personally, I find that absolutely awesome. It's it's a it's a like a one of a kind thing in Spyro 3, um, which you know of course that that's just cool. Spyro 3 does a lot of things right. Spyro 3 makes a lot of you know cool jumps and and changes and and additions to the series, which we all appreciate. Um, truly fantastic. And you know I'm kind of reminded of Sunny Flight with that background, but it's not. And also, in fact, maybe a mix of oh shit, a mix of Sunny Flight and. Um, uh, Nasty to loot with a kind of like the interplanetary vibe. We got the interplanetary kind of vibe. We got space vibe. I guess I was trying to do a uh, Return of the Space Cowboy, Space Cowboy Jumeric Way uh, bit, but you know it failed. So yeah, I got no one to explain it myself. So yeah, the decor is very rich in here. Look at that. This is like uh, the sorceress is kind of pad, enchanted towers. She loves it. She loves uh, she loves the sorceress. Now we need. Yep, yeah, we're gonna get cool. Alright, so the actual level, completing it normally like this, very simple, look at that. We've got a really cool picture of, that's definitely going to be the thumbnail around near here. We've got a cool statue of um, the sorceress. Now, of course, what you'd want to do is talk to this guy first and see, like, him tell you, yeah, you got to, you know, destroy the statue. Jasper's got a plan, man, you know, Jasper, he knows what he's doing. I'm almost ready to reveal my latest piece of real-time four-dimensional performance art. It's called... <laughs> I love it. Hideous exploding witch number nine. If you can just light the three rockets around here, my masterpiece shall be complete. 
Now, do you guys remember this guy's voice from Spyro 2? Clearly, he's a main cast member voice, or um, I can't exactly remember who it is. Uh, but he's really cool. I really like the voice of all these guys. Um, all right, now, what happens? And actually, I'd be curious to see if you hit two of them, if there's just one more. Let's see, actually. That'd be a very interesting fact. Ready? I just want to see. It, it's cool to do that, you know, to go talk to the enemy before you do something or something like that. And it kind of gives you this added, like, depth to the, um, to the, to the, uh, come on, can I get him? Can I get him? Yes. It kind of gives you give an added depth to the uh, the game, you know, you, get, you kind of like, your actions do reflect what they say, if, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, it sounds like I could be stretching to praise this game too much, but no, I really like it. I really like it a lot. Alright, let's see if we can actually, um, alright, is it, someone going to bed? No, I'm not too sure. Alright, ready, watch this. What happens if we, yeah, ready? That's one, and that's, do you want, is it one? Yeah. One more to go, and the world. Oh, okay. He says basically similar to what he said before, and third time is the charm, or even though we've yeah, well, the third piece of the puzzle. Um, oh, look at the sorceress's head. Disgusting. Oops, I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. <laughs> The heat would have to be quite con constant when the explosion. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually trying to do science. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. Oh, he left. He left before I could even talk to him. All right. Now, actually, in fact, do you want to spend this time? Uh, that's yeah, yeah. Let's go to the skate park. This is one of my most anticipated things in the game again. Ever, I love. You know, I'm really getting to the kind of like the favorite bits of Spyro 3 now because I, as you know, I'm a huge fan. So this, this, this level is awesome. So we're going to get a series of challenges in a second with Hunter. We're going to really start to kind of get to the specifics of um, of this. So think, you know, beginner license in Spyro, uh, in uh, Gran Turismo. This is kind of going to your A license now. Ready? Maybe International B. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Yes. Once you've mastered a few tricks, you can score huge points in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? All right. What does he say if you say in some other time? No problem. No, I'll talk to you now. Are you right. ready to learn some Yes, I'm ready. Just press the X Okay, so this stuff is pretty simple. Basically, you just have to do flips and stuff like that. Um, or the first, it's very simple at first. It's like it's interesting. They don't teach you this at first, don't they? Okay, now. Okay, now try to roll. Yeah, so they actually, yeah, so in, like you know how they basically talk to you in Spyro in like the first one. It's just like yeah, just catch the flame stuff. You know, you don't actually expect you to do any tricks. Oh, for God's sake! Roll. Whoops. There you go. Hey, nice. Nice wall. Right. Nice job, Spyro. Alright. Uh, another one up here. And. Let's do both. Whoa. You must be a natural. Right. Now, the music here is also familiar to something as well. It's, it's kind of it's very electronic based, which is really cool. Uh, Spyro 3 definitely does expand, does that quite a lot. Um, Alright. I always wondered, recent, with the recent discovery of all those, you know, sound loop things from the distorted reality, I just love plugging that so more and more people can hear about it. It'd be interesting to see whether, um... You know, it didn't seem... Oh, you get it? Yeah. No, that was... Yes, that was a 900. Before you get cocky, let's see if you can do some real points. Right. You know, it'd be interesting to see if this game used some more of those loops. That'd be really cool. Maybe, um... Whatever. Yeah, there. Yeah. Let's give this a go. Let's do a 900. Here we go. Ready? Whoops. Fail. Oh, let's actually get points. Wow, you learn what? really fast. <laughs> a move that he calls the. N oh no! Oh, damn! I. Oh my goodness! I did. I missed. I missed Hunter. You say the name Nasty Nork. And also, where the hell would he get the name Nasty Nork? Have we mentioned it to you in the past? Continuity questions, my friends. You're ready to try some one -on oh yeah, here we go. All right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. Okay. The jig is up. Let's do this. All right. So I think you got to get like five thousand points, I believe it is. So now if you go down and then to the left, that is a nasty nork. And he, excuse me, sorry. If he does that, I'm wondering. Actually, I'm wondering. So there we got crush as well. Um, so yeah, look at that. Oh, gee, oh that's awesome. Twenty-one seventy-five with it, like a half nasty nork. That's brilliant. Alright, so actually let's spend this time collecting a lot of the gems in this section here. Now you get a thousand points doing this as well. Um, 
yeah, pretty much. There's little little triggers in the level where you can. Um, oh shit! Uh, twisted line gives you that much. All right. Yeah. So like for example, going up here. Oh, wait a second. Sorry. If you go up here, you actually get a certain amount of points as well. Now, I remember there used to be a rumor, right, that um, you could, like, get out of this skate park and get to a certain area of the level, like a lake or something like that, like some secret area. It was, um, I don't think, it was, I guess it was proven to be false uh, with the, with LX Shadows hacking. You never really found such data in there. I think it was just a rumor or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Or one of those internet scams or something like that. It was... I don't know. I don't know. It's disappointing. I would have liked to have seen something cool like that, but yeah, we've already thrashed him. This <laughs> we've already thrashed him. Is there a is there a move with the thrasher or something? I've completely forgotten at this point. Right. Now the trick is like if you yeah, there's a Spyro skate tournament set up by Spyro Gem eighty six. You guys may know him. And Nintendo in sixty four won that uh, by basically being a, like him and Bandy being scumbags and you know making it look like uh, well mainly Bandy making it look like. Um, Max had cheated Mamma Club 2. Um, that was classic drama back then. Um, so, yeah, you know, he bangs one and um, gave his 160 plus dollar prize to Crash Bandy's Bar 12, which us in the community all criticize him for doing and saying he's an absolute idiot. Which is true. You do not give away a prop. Well, he didn't know, he, he couldn't get, he, I don't know, something had, there was no 3DS left or something like that, so then. Um, yeah, Spider Gem 86 said something about how, like, yeah, okay, anyway, whatever, who cares? How did, you How did you get so good already? Someday you may bake my course record. You want to keep it for a pet? No, we need to collect them all. Come on, man. Alex. Awesome. And he shits himself or something. Alright, okay. Now, what is it to say now? You can go for the course record now. Harp on a skateboard? Okay. You know, I was thinking, should I just... Yeah, I'm just going to help with the skateboard here. Right here. Ready? Oh shit, no, 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 restart, give up. Crap, that's a bad start. Okay, there we go, twisted lime. There you go. Still to try and get as many points at first as possible. Probably should have started up here, but alright, let's see if we can, how many we can do here, ready? There you go. That's a big score, see, because Nasty Not gives you less and less points every time, as you can see. Uh, oh, Twisted Lime gives you 37 at this point. Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Let's see if we can do some craziness here. Ready? Twisted Lemon, 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 Lemon. Oh, I only got three. Alright, ready? Now we can probably get a double. Oh, shit. Oh, th that's all glitched because I was like, I had too much speed or something like that and it just didn't, it didn't bloody work. Alright. So let's see if, we, if I can get 20,000, that'd be good, because I remember I used to struggle, I used to try and like, I was very proud of 20,000, but people can get like 30,000 if they do it right. That's the amazing thing about it, actually. Ready, so let's see if we can get a, a normal. There you go, there's a gulp. Alright, let's see if we, I don't know if we might be able to get one more. Yes, an orange crush. Can we get another orange crush? Wow, big gulp. Whoa. It's like if you, if you, I don't know, that's, that's very impressive actually, if you can, right, this one seems to be a little bit harder, but, yep, yeah. it's like you got a flame at the right point, or something like that, I don't know, it's very interesting, okay, let's get out of here, let's, let's get the leg out of here, man, right, single backflip, right, 17,000, not too bad, alright, let's get another 1,000 points from going down here, and also, the added bonus of doing this, there you go, getting that one, we're going to get another 1,000 points for doing this, there you go, double backflip and a thousand. So I think we may, in fact, make it to. Oh shit. Right, three, two, one. 187. 21,000. I reckon that's my record, to be honest. Um, I'm pretty sure that's my record. Well, wow. congratulations, Crystal Fisher. Alright. Now, down here, of course, there's stuff that we're. Mi Wait, did we. What? I'm sure. Did we get them already? I'm not too sure. I feel like I feel like there's stuff there that I just completely overlooked. But all right, let's ex let's give up and let's exit error. Cool. Where we're spending our time wisely here. Okay, let's go back up here. Now we've got the the awesome section. Actually, no, there's not. This isn't just it. This is oh, this is awesome because this isn't it. There's there's one more challenge as well. A very iconic challenge, at least in my opinion. Oh, and oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I am super excited now, guys. You just we've look look. Did you just see that? Did you just see that? You better have bloody just saw that, because that was... Okay. 
I'm freaking out now. I just re I just remembered exactly what made this level just so uh, awesome. I've oh my god, I'm not even gonna explain yet. I'm not gonna explain yet. But firstly, we've got this other little challenge here. Uh, let's see if we can see how many we can get. Um, okay, so we're not gonna do that one yet. That's I'm saving that one till last. Uh, first things first. Let's see if I can. Can I get any of these bastards? Uh, pricks. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can... Right, there's, there's that one. That's... Okay, can I... Oh, he's getting high. He's bloody. He's a prick. Right. Yes, got that one. Yeah. Wait. Awesome. Alright. Oh, I bet you they're all going to be back to normal again. If, oh, okay, anyway. Here we are with an awesome challenge. Now, let's see what his this guy's name is. If it's F Pablo or whatever, then it's the same guy. But let's have a look. Who is he? Who is he? I was playing Mowat. Mowat. Farley. But I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. <laughs> Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Heh. <laughs> Get it? The boy who cried wolf? Alright, so this guy's I'm name is uh, Mawat. Mawat, I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. And, um, yeah. So I'm breathing heavily. So jeez, what the hell's wrong with me? I sound like a like a really like obese man or something like that. Well, there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, let's do this now. Here's here's a pet wolf, Fowley or Farley or whatever. Rhymes with Marley, um, Marley and me. You know that that uh, that uh, that movie Ma Marley and me. Okay. Anyway, let's if you do this, ready? Watch this. Oh wait, no. What? I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. First things first. Oh shit. What the. Okay, what you gotta do, sorry, I mean, I, seriously, why, okay, I remember, there's, like, there's this one challenge, right, in this level, every time it happens, I get it wrong, it's not this one, it's obviously not that one, that one's simple, there's, it's coming up soon, it's actually very interesting, though, actually, I quite, I quite like it, um, this is, like, an awesome little challenge here, we've got Farley, uh, Farley and me, me, me being Spyro, um, it's just, I don't know, a really cool, kind of, like, little section of the level, like, and, like, back in the underground there, it's kind of, like another, it, it adds to the, the uh, variety of this level too, you know? Really cool stuff. Right. Do that one, and now what you need to do in this particular section is, um, I, think, I think what you need to do is so spit it out. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Alright, right. so what you need to do is, alright, so what you need, yeah, so basically he's over here, and you need to, st like, alright, ready? I need to stand on this and then spit there, so he'll jump over. Ready? He picks up, he jumps, and then he. What? Wait! Oh crap! What the? F okay, now I've actually forgotten. Um, right, is, is it over here? You spit it up over here, like, like that, and ready. Across. There we go. Easy peasy Japanese. All right. It's this bit here that I always get mixed up with. Oh, and now the music as well. It's actually got the same as the skate park music. It's like it's like one of those. It's a different section. It's like one of the only pits with like a different music track, but it's not for like a skate park. You know, like that's interesting. Um, now there's something you need to do here. I think you throw it on that one there, right? And then he goes up, and then there we go. See that? How cool is that? Really cool. And then, of course, we can go back. So, yeah, so that's that, that challenge there. Everyone used to, like, you know, there's bits where you've, you've got, I don't know, you just get confused sometimes. And look at the color here. We've got this purple, really, really nice, beautiful purple. Now you've been wondering where we go. Oh, i got no idea where to go. Oh, through there. Yeah, I just love this little section here. I can't remember what level it reminds me of, but it is reminiscent of something. There's the ball. We should review that ball on Balls Australia. Hey, you found Farley. How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, well. It's the thought that counts, right? Yes, it is. We got, uh, Liz? Cool. Liz. L-Y-S. Lice. Lice. Uh, no, Liz. Okay, so what else do you have to say about Farley? Nothing else? You got, you got nothing to say? You have nothing to say about Farley. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, okay, so, yeah. 
Now, interestingly enough, that is pretty much like an extension of the challenge in, um, do you remember in, um, in Spyro, um, into the, not into the Dragonfly, sorry, it's, it's like the challenge in, um, uh, Crystal Glacier, or whatever, uh, otherwise known as uh, Skalos Glacier, if you were playing the, um, like the, if you wanted to go by the original demo level names of this game, um, there's a good, there's one, come on, I just, ah, oh, hate this, let me just get them without having, actually, you know what, yes, that is what this is for, wait, no, sorry, I've, I've just now remembered, this is what the final section is for. So, all right. So we got some comparisons to the level. I'm Wait. ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. I'm ready now. It's good to be back in action. It sure is. This is the third level in a row we played. Oh no, third level and four levels we played as you. All right. So now we can finally kill these guys with ease, with the greatest of ease. Right. Okay. See that door's closed there? Very interesting. It sounds like I'm depressed. I'm like, I'm like breathing heavily. I don't know why. It's like because I haven't done all Let's Plays in a while. So it's like I'm back into the swing of it all again. Okay, so we've got the comparison to Crystal Glacier. Now, of course, we're going to be making the comparison now, finally, to another level, Skelos Badland. And you know why? It is because the best thing in the history of video game history has happened. Uh, we've got a crossover. Let, let me show you. All right, first things first. Let's go and talk to the guy first. Well, actually, we'll just get some more. Do you see this? This is a recycled texture. This is a recycled thing. And who gives a shit? Because guess what? It's a bone from Skelos Badlands. Holy shit. And you may be thinking, oh, it's probably just a different character. Uh, who cares? You know what? No, it isn't. Because you're about to find out the awesome way. That firstly, look at this. Look at this whole thing here. How we basically, we're playing in the level that we were at. But we've got these now previously inaccessible areas that we're able to now fly around. It's just awesome. Isn't it? It really is just awesome. I absolutely, I absolutely love the idea of doing this. It's just, it's a really cool idea. Um, Insomniac clearly they made, they modeled this level based around the fact that you can fly around its full perimeter. So there's pretty much no potential for glitching areas and stuff like that because it's like, that's kind of yeah. They they, they they proofed everything, you know. Instead of making like invisible things where you can't see anything. Now of course, if you look down here, you also just to show. You, uh, the doors are locked so you can't get through so there's definitely a change that's the reason why like it's not like a seamless section because then like basically it's like it's like a re it's like the same level but they've added in these little changes there to make sure you can't do any silly shit um, now just want to check is did we go through yeah we haven't got through here see love this whole section here I love just love this whole section that portion of the level it's really awesome you got it yep cool Alright, so yeah, uh, let's, firstly we need to, we need to actually find, um, let's get that one there, one, two, three, and, there's our gem there, right. and we also need the, the special things that, you know, give us the power to, um, here it goes, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, okay, I'm, I'm so excited, look, look, guys, look at this, this is the coolest shit ever. You're doing great. Please find the rest of the bones so we can put my friend back together. No, 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 no. I wanted you to... You're doing... Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Guys, bad news. I'm gonna... Okay. When I beat this level, I'm coming back to see what he says first. He's gonna say something like, Oh, hello. You know, like... You know, he's not gonna actually specifically... Probably... I don't know. I can't remember. Does he mention Skelos Badlands? But anyway, it's it's the guy. It's Uga. It's Uga from Skelos Badlands. Think about that, guys. Think about that. Look at them with that continuity. How did he get here? Does he explain it? I think he may. So yes, this is, this is, it's just, it's, it's pure awesome. Put it that way. It's pure, bloody awesome. Okay. Now actually, as well as that, is there any other, is there any other enemies, like, I mean, sorry, allies in this level where you can talk to them? Because I, if one of them left, the other guy, where did he go? Did he, is he just gone now or something, or what? I don't know, I, ugh, God, stop. I, I just, I, I don't know, for some reason, I love the idea of just checking every possible option and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, just find it fun, like, just to see if, any, if I can get every piece of dialogue in the game, except for the occasional, I can't be bothered saying no every time. Um, but I probably should just play through the game and see what happens if you say no. And then if I find an interesting one, I'll, just, I'll tell you guys. Now, come on, come on. This guy's going fast, look at him. Really weird enemy design, isn't it? Classic Oliver Wade, I gotta love him. Oh, shit. Now, how low do you have to go to... Okay, wait. Oh, Nerman. Okay, th that is 
that is the equivalent to a natural disaster. We have just, this is terrible. I don't know if, um, if, if all of them are going to be back alive again, but if they are, we're in some serious trouble. And I mean it. Oh, no, okay. Anything to say again? You're doing good. Yeah, yeah, no, I want to hear you, I want to hear you talk normal. Yeah, this is bad. Look, I'm pretty sure all of these ones I have killed before, which is not good. Get away, you asswipe. There you go. Now, are we going to get another one? Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad news, and I mean it, because, like, we now pretty much are in serious trouble. Um, firstly, what the hell is that all about? Yeah, because we need to, we need to kill, like, we need, there's probably ones we haven't got yet, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, so it just, it just makes it really, really irritating now, the fact that we have to, um, kill a bunch of enemies again when we already have killed them, you know? We, uh, uh how many, yeah, let's just, we just gotta make sure, I guess, and, um, of course, I, I, I remember, like, this is like another one of those, um, instances where it actually becomes quite difficult to find what you're looking for, um, in, at least in my opinion, like, I always could not find the last ones, um, yeah, that's just me, I'm just terrible sometimes with that and that kind of thing, I, I'm always, I've got no idea where to go, no idea where to get stuff, is there one in here, is there, is there one in here, right. I got a feeling no, I'm pretty sure this is just a normal, yep, this is just that section again, alright, what about this one, I think, I've got a feeling we've already been in here, no, oh, no we haven't, alright, okay, so you just gotta, you gotta be on the lookout, because there's plenty of them, um, there's six. We gotta look. I mean, sorry. There's like more sections. So we've already been in that section, have we? Yes, we have. Let's just double check once again. I you just gotta. It's never. You're never too. You're never good. Too good enough to double check. It's always good to double check. All right. So we'll try this section over here first. We'll just double check. All right. There's one there. There we go. First one got. I've get. I've got him. There we go. I've got Game of Thrones. Yep. Ready. All right. Let's go over and get this one. These ones here, just in case. You never know, you never know, you could, you know, oh, this was the one that killed me, I'm pretty sure. There you go, you die. And you know what? Suck shit, man. Yep, two. The question is, how exactly do I get the other, um, I'm just trying to think, like, for example, right, I just want to show you, um, okay, it's not, it's not over there, no. These, the ones that, like, um, where are they? Where are they? I'm trying to think about it. Uh, is it? Yeah, here, right? How can I? How can I normally get them? Do I just have to use the um, you know, butt bounce thing or whatever it's called? Because I can't. I can't kill that one. Like I can't do anything about it. Like I can't use. I don't think there's any missiles there. Or well, there's number seven. Now eight. Eight is the real question. And I please be there. Nope. It's not. Okay. Um, number eight. Interesting, interesting. I do not know. I feel like it could be anywhere, but you know, it's is it going to be over here? Is it going to be over here? It might just be. Yes. Awesome. Right in the same area. Okay, there we go. Ready? We're going to get another dance. Have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir. Don't have any room in my luggage. See, he's travelled. He's bloody travelled. My goodness. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no! He started his bone dance again. Again. Keyword again. That sound that was that sound at the end there was classic, uh, classic Spyro 2. Look at him, look at him. He, oh, he falls. He, the bone dance is bloody last hurrah, last hurrah. What did you have to come back for? Now he's going to do his whole routine again. You know, here we go. I don't blame him. Okay. So you hear that sound there? That, that this sound here. This is like a remix of the original one. 
How cool is that? It is, I promise you, it's like, it is a remix. Um, it's like, like, it, there's like an extra sound in there or something like that. Uh, it's like that, that harp sound, which you can hear in like the, you know, before you arrive Spyro, that whole thing. Uh, and that t is like this, the drum sound from, you know, do -noon, do -noon, do -noon, do -noon, you know, for um, Skulls Badlands. Now, I'm just sorry about this. I just want to double check that we've got an all the um, relevant enemy, all the necessary enemies that we've, we haven't killed, or that we've killed, or whatever. Uh, it's just in case, you never know. Just shoot everywhere, and eventually someone will stick, won't it? You know what it's like. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all of them, which is very, very good. All right, let's go back over here, and unfortunately, you can't reach that guy as Spyro, but that'd be. Wait a minute. No, okay, you probably no, you can't. What a shame. All right, go back through this imaginary door. I'm ready to patrol the top. Off duty. There we go. Now we're back here. Okay. So, you can't get up there. If, if there was a way. Wait. No way. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Can, can we? Can we possibly do it? Wait. We can do it. We can actually. Oh, no. What did you have to come back for? No, 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 no. Oh, we can't talk to him. Oh, shh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to this level. I, I'm gonna come back. Okay, cool. Yeah, we did it, we did it. That is so cool. Oh, I, am, I am freaking out right now. Okay, so if we can talk to him as Spyro, that would be awesome. He'd probably say something like, oh, you need to, you need to speak to Sergeant Bird. I've forgotten about this. Like, I, I genuinely have forgotten about this. Um, right, wait. Okay, let's try and... Yeah. See if I can... No. Oh, wait, okay. So, first things first, need to get up here. Get these two here. Now, hopefully, hopefully this is the, these are the last two ones we need to get. Um, so, is that one there? Right. There you go. And then there's one down pretty much below. Um, okay, is that it? Yep, that's it. Alright, and one over here. See if we can land it, and we did. Love the background, guys. Just want to reiterate that. Right. Down there, and that could indeed be it. It is, it is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, right, I am going to come back to this level right now. I'm exiting level, I'm going to be back, okay? Okay, here I am back again, ready? Jump across here, sneak across, and... Please talk about it. Spyro. Yes. Are you on vacation too? I was having a lovely time with my friend until the lava toads stole all his bones again. I'd ask you to help, but some of the toads are hiding at the top of the tallest towers, and I don't think you can fly that high. Unfortunately, I can't, Uga. Unfortunately, I can't. So yes, he's on vacation just like we are. Well, we're not really, but yeah, okay. So now let's cut back to when we get Sergeant Bird. And here we are. Hello, Birdie. I was <laughs> having a lovely vacation with my friend, but he's lost all his bones. Can you find them and put him together? Anything for you, my friend. Hello, Birdie. Now he calls us Birdie, because that's because he doesn't know our name, see? Damn you, continuity. It's brilliant. It's just brilliant. I love that whole portion there. They brought back old friends. You know, realistically, how does he get from Avalar to this world? But, oh, maybe he knows. Maybe he's in He's in with the professor, you know? He's in with the professor. Okay. So, yes. Now, let's uh, cut back because we got one more level. See, that's actually the incorrect amount. Let's... I'll show you this. Ready? Ready. And here we are. This is the right save state. I got another save set out so I could just, you know, guarantee everything. Here we are, ready, here we go. In the next part, we're going to be going to Icy Peak. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that uh, nerdness. And yeah, in the next part, Icy Peak. See you then.